Well, it's been a busy day for cities dealing with water main breaks. One big break is along Woodall Rogers Freeway, just north of Clyde Warren Park. City crews have been working for most of the day, trying to make repairs to the main. Most lanes of the road were also blocked off for hours, and crews had to spray a sand mixture on it because it looked more like an ice rink once the sun came up. No word yet just how long it's going to take for the work to be fully completed and all of the lanes of traffic reopened. And in Fort Worth, the city's dealing with more than a dozen water main breaks today. One break we've been watching all morning happened on Feliz Street. This is off I-35W in South Fort Worth. Fort Worth officials say that crews have been working on repairs for much of the day, and they are prepared for those repairs to go well into tomorrow as well. So you might be wondering, as we were, why so North Texas is so prone to so many water main breaks when the temperatures drop like this, especially when you consider that other major cities that endure much harsher winters seem to fare better. We did some research, and it all comes down to iron. Data from both the city of Dallas and Fort Worth shows DFW has almost 3,000 miles of cast iron pipes that need to be fixed. Up until the 70s, cast iron was the popular choice of material for water pipes. However, Dallas-based engineering firm WGI notes those pipes are more susceptible to rusting and less resistant to the cold than other materials. When DFW experiences sustained cold weather like the past couple of days, the cast iron is more vulnerable to fractures from ice forming in and around the pipes, such is the case currently in Fort Worth. When the water temp uh, gets down into the mid to low 40s is when we really start seeing an increase in main breaks, especially in the old cast iron pipes. Modern day infrastructure has moved to using PVC pipes, which have a lower temperature limit and are less susceptible to breaks. Other cities like New York City and Denver have kept their pipes updated to account for the long duration of cold weather they receive each year. The Texas Water Conservation Association says the state preps for warmer weather and is behind on updating cold weather infrastructure. The cities of Dallas and Fort Worth say it will take decades to replace the old pipes. It's just going to take a lot of time. We're, we're making progress, but it's not going to happen, like I said, instantly. Officials say that now is the time to find your main water shut off. They expect those frozen pipes to begin revealing leaks starting tomorrow when temperatures get above freezing.